What's <laughs> What's going on, y'all? Um, so yesterday was August twenty eighth, uh, Sunday, August twenty eighth. It's a Sunday, which is typically a cardio and ab session. So I went to the gym early and around like eight o'clock, eight thirty, did light cardio, fasted it um, for like fifteen minutes, did some abs, got home, found out that I needed groceries, and I kind of delayed getting groceries by watching YouTube videos and studying physics and stuff, um, all of that nonsense. Then I got hungry, my metabolism kicked through the roof, decided to get some Chipotle at eleven. Nothing wrong with getting Chipotle, but what I got on that Chipotle is what the problem was. So I had got a burrito, which is usually what I don't get anymore. I get bowls. So it's nothing wrong with getting Chipotle, but I got a burrito. And on that burrito, it was kind of messed up. I got the burrito with hella rice, which is something I never get. I always get one scoop, especially from the back. Um, I got hella beans. Uh, I got two servings of chicken. Uh, I got cheese on there, I got sour cream, and I even got guac, dude. I even got guac. So, um, you know, that doesn't seem like a big deal or anything like that, but for the first meal of the day, basically having 1,500 calories, that's, that's, that's very critical. So, I had that. Then I had, immediately after, I had sushi, and I had four rolls, and three of them were shrimp tempura, which means the shrimp was fried. And then I had a Philadelphia roll with cream cheese because I love cream cheese. And I ate all of that. And then I had a protein shake after the gym because I decided I need to work this off and I hit back. Then I had, I had like four cookies. So all of that while I'm supposed to be dieting, it's, it sucks, you know. With dieting, man, it's just so hard. You know, it's, it's so hard. I try to tell people... When you diet, it's not going to be fun, but you have to make sure that you keep your eyes on the goal. And for me, I diet all the time. I diet for about uh, two weeks and then one week I'm just at maintenance. Two weeks I'm at maintenance, but this whole entire time I've been dieting like pretty strict for the last month, like very, very strict that I just lost motivation because I'm not dieting for a show. I'm not dieting for a photo shoot. I'm not dieting for anything, I'm just dieting to reach my goal of 175 and I'm delaying it and I need to, I need to get on myself, so. Oh, damn it. I can't believe I let myself gain six pounds in a span of like, <laughs> a span of like 20 hours, I gained six pounds. All right. It just, it, it annoys me, man, because I know I worked so hard to get close to 176 and I was one pound away from getting away from my goal and now I set myself back. So I'm on to work extremely, extremely hard and increase cardio. And I, not even really increase cardio. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, what I will do though, however, is I'm going to start keeping track, more track of my steps today. So I'm going to force myself to walk everywhere. What I won't do is I'm not going to go back to my original macros. My original macros are, pull up on my fitness pal. My original macros are 20, 50, 20, 50 calories, um, which is very, very, very low for me. But 20, 50 calories, um, 2,050 calories with 205 grams of protein, 175 grams, 179 grams of carbs, I'm sorry, and 57 fat, which is, <laughs> it's a joke. So that shows probably why I I kind of like binged. I don't know. Maybe I was just so hungry and I did cardio and then I didn't have any groceries and then I went to go get groceries. And then before I got groceries, I got something to fill my satiety, you know. So I think that uh, that set me back. But I'm gonna change my macros and I'm gonna do it to now 2190, 190 grams of carbs, uh, 215 grams of protein, 65 fats. Simple as that. I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna give you guys a physique update too and see how much water I'm holding, how I look, and just kinda like humble myself, man, because I, I just don't care. <laughs>
but I feel fat and I messed up and I got away from my goal. Looks can be deceiving, man. Weight can be deceiving, man, but don't keep your eyes off that goal. Now, most people may look at that and then be like, man, Ricky, you ain't even mess up. But, you know, I look at myself and I hold myself to a different standard. And I know that if I take my eyes off the goal, I not only let myself down, but I'm letting others down. I'm, I have clients, so I, I like to practice what I preach. And when I mess up, you know, that's why I always say, you know, life happens. We all mess up. But... We have to get back on that path. And if I was to say, damn, I look good. You know what, man? Forget getting back to my goal. Then I will be just like everybody else. And I can't do that. I can't I, I can't do that. So um, keeping your eyes on the goal and understanding that you have to have tunnel vision with your goal. As you see that new goal at the end of the road and you understand that I have to still get there. You may see the light. You may see it. But you still have to strive and go after it to get that new goal. Because once you get it, it's the best feeling. I can't wait till I get 175 because I know the dire pains of me watching my friends eat and doing all that different stuff. Or even what happened yesterday of me actually binging, binge eating. And then being able to actually reach that goal, it'll be the best feeling. And then I can live life. Damn it. Skipped out on having the peanut butter in there. Just got the eggs, the flaxseed, a little bit of stevia. Well, actually a lot because it kind of spilled through. I got a shaky left hand. And then um, got the eggs with the, the beef steak. I think that's what it is. Got that on five servings. Five of them things of uh, liquid eggs. What y'all know about that, man? That's grown folk music. That's that old school music. Alright, so I'm here at Walmart. I'm uh, about to get some groceries. I'm going to give you guys like a small little tour. Because I already have a grocery store video. So I don't need to show that much. But I also want to show you guys. I'm currently, y'all know I've been keeping track of my steps. Um, so as for today, currently, it's only 2.21 p.m. I'm at 5,200 steps, so I surpass my daily average. I also want to give a pivotal step on what helped me get this far was I am extremely far away from Walmart right now. Extremely far. So I'm going to walk. This can focus. I'm going to walk all the way from here to the entrance around Walmart, get my groceries and walk all the way back. I should be at around 7,000 steps on the way back. Once I go to the gym, I'm hitting legs a day, so then that's gonna be another so-and-so amount of steps. So I think I'm gonna get 10,000. Most people make a 10,000 calorie challenge, I'm making a 10,000 step challenge. I got distracted and didn't show you guys what I was working with. So I got the boiled eggs for my 8 a.m. classes when I don't feel like I'm making breakfast. I got these like low calorie, actually zero calorie, uh, sugar-free drinks. Only thing I have to look at is the sucralose in there. 
Um, only problem. Got to get my, my micros in. So I got spinach, lettuce, carrots. Got the sriracha, put that on the chicken. I got the beef steak. Got the, the mushrooms. Uh, the Boca Burger. These are so underrated. These are really good and they got really good macros. I don't want to show you guys because I know it's not going to show, but it's got pretty good macros. And then I like, you know, to get these in too, man. Can't beat that. Oops. You get the jasmine rice. I like my chicken by the breast. You have three options in life. Get regular black beans with, with some hella sodium in there. You can get reduced sodium or no salt added. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this oats instead of Quaker because now I'm balling on a budget. Gotta get the Sargento straight off the block. I'm about to put y'all on some game. So y'all see the cottage cheese, 2% low fat right there. Grab that and you get pumpkin pie as well. Two of these is 160 calories, 24 grams of protein, that's 90. So grab two of those. Dude, it's the best snack in history. And then throw a little bit of flax seeds right on the top, like sprinkle it, like pop. And you guys already know about my sponsorship with Fairlife, my imaginary sponsorship. So, I'm working out with my boy Lonnie. And I just hit legs Friday and I went up to 365 and I got it for one. After my big old barrage of eating hella food, I want to try to see if I can get the 405, take advantage of all those empty, empty <laughs> excess calories that I had and try to utilize it. I just got 315 for five, so I'm going to try and now go for 365 for three, which I got one on Friday, and then I'm going to go 405 all out. I'm going to aim for it, I'm going to strive for it. Four or five. For one. For one. For one. For one. You got it. Easy. <laughs> Your chest started to beat out and it's like that, you know it's getting real. All mental. All mental. <laughs> Alright, so now we got dinner. It's for my vlog. Now we got dinner. Um, we got one serving of rice and beans. We got a serving and a half of broccoli. We got two servings of chicken. And we got one serving of what is this? Lean ground beef 946. Lean ground beef. Everything is weighed out. And booyah, I'm about to throw this on top. Some sriracha. All right, guys. So that's officially a wrap for the night. Um, I'm working on some... Let me let me show y'all what I'm doing and spending my night. It's about... It's 11.08. 11.08 p.m. And I'm in the clubhouse at my uh, apartment living. Doing a little homework. A little bit of physics and a little bit of chemistry. Trying, you know, succeed in life, man. I got goals. Oh, 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 guys, um, I forgot to show this, cap it off right now. Um, so as you can see, I don't even know if you can see, 
it says 9,000 steps, 9,100 steps. Now, I didn't keep my phone on me while I was doing cardio. I didn't keep my phone on me while I was doing legs. We just gonna say that I hit that 10,000 uh, 10, 10, calorie challenge goal, that 10,000 step goal. Once again, like always, your boy appreciate you guys. I appreciate the people that took out to even watch this video, man. You know, I'm, I'm on the come up. I'm gonna be trying to make his original quality and best quality videos that I can present to you guys. And I appreciate you guys for even putting in time and putting in all, actually all of this time to even watch this full video thoroughly. Hopefully you guys did. Um, don't forget to like this video. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And be on, a, be on the lookout for some more videos, man. I'm going to try to present some more. So I appreciate it.